in the Gambia because the Minister of Lands and local government and religious affairs has described some of the real estate agencies operating in the Gambia as scammers. Amaten K. Ba was speaking at a joint media conference organized by the Minister of Information. Minister Ba said many Gambians are suffering from the hands of the real estate agency owners, but he vowed to take a strong action to protect, to protect the public. Now, let's have more details of that in this report by Satajani. In the Gambia, land dispute have become a major concern for many of the country's citizens, with many of blaming the borough administration for the growing of land dispute in the country. Many people are concerned about their properties amid the widely increasing land dispute in the teeny West African nation. In his first media outing since being appointed as the country's new land minister, Hamad Nkeba made some shocking revelations on illegal land transaction in many areas, including the government reserved wetland at Kamalu. The lands minister attributed to most of the country's land conflicting issues to the real estate agencies, describing them as scammers. He said some of these real estate agency owners will sell a plot of a land to a customer without even seeing the land sold to them. She gave me a paper. Her mother, her father, her brother, all the money they had in life, they bought a piece of land from an agent that can never show them where the land is. All their savings went in vain. Immediately, I ordered the estate agency's executive to come and meet me the next day. A couple of days, they have already sought for an appointment. We met them yesterday and have given directives. We cannot wait for the law. We'll put in regulation to regulate them. From Monday, they are starting to, i giving them two weeks to produce it for them to be cassetted and we will deal with them in according to law. Minister Hamad Ba also outlined his ministry's plan to regulate real estate businesses in the country, saying the government will not allow self procurement land sellers scamming. Land sellers scamming people about properties that doesn't even belong to them. We cannot let that continue in this country. Scamming people, taking money, selling land that does not belong to you, will end. And we have to ask a question. Let me tell you. Why that when you steal a car, when you steal a car, you go to sell it to Sankare. When Sankare is caught, you the one who stole the car and the one who bought it will be arrested and charged. Why when, body, when someone sold you land that does not belong to you, him or her, you are never taken to court. Why in this country? Why? You rob people of their saving in their life, and then you go scot free in the streets. Why those families continue language in poverty and dismay? That would end. According to Minister Ba, many people in the Gambia have lost their life savings after investing their monies into buying houses to avoid paying rent, but their dreams are usually shattered due to action of scrupulous individuals claiming to be land dealers. In the Gambia, most people also believe that real estate agencies are mainly responsible for the widely condemned frauds in the land business sector amid the increasing land dispute in the past recent years. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am